the man rope knot, the base for the man rope knot, is a crown knot on top of a wall knot. So before I go forward and introduce the element of making it around the standing end, I'll first review the wall knot and the crown knot. First the wall knot. That's the wall knot. Okay, that's a finished wall knot. If you did them in sequence, you would have what's called a wall cynic. Okay, now the crown knot. Crown knot. Goes like this. That's a crown knot. You've probably seen them in sequence, made like this. It would be a crown sinnet, and it would have a square pattern with flat sides. Okay? Next step, then, is to make the wall knot first, the crown knot on top, and that will be the start point for the man rope knot. I will introduce at the same time how we make the crown, then wall, and incorporate the standing end so in the end we'll have a sliding man rope knot. Okay, we've got the um, taped ends of the four strand round braid so that we don't have unraveling while we work. And here on the Saints lanyard is the double Matthew Walker stopper knot. So what I want to do is I want the stopper knot to eventually keep this loop from closing on itself. So I'm going to do the man rope knot around the standing end up here so that when it eventually slides it hits the stopper knot and leaves this small loop. So what I want to do is I want to arrange my cords so that I can do the wall knot, the first part of the man rope knot, but end up with the standing end coming up the middle. Okay? So I'm going to alternate colors. So here's the black. This is going to be the first cord of the wall knot. Then I'm going to take the next red. I'm going to put it on the other side of the standing end. 
and start the wall knot. Okay. Now the black. It's just like the wall knot I did a second ago. The only difference is that I've incorporated the standing end into the beginning. Okay. Here's the start. That black. That black went around the standing end and off in this direction. The red begins the wall knot and goes over the black and into my left hand. Now the black goes over the red and then finishing the knot is simply taking this red over the black and up through the start. up here where I started now let me tighten a bit and give you a good view of it from the top Okay. See that? That's got to help. Can you see how that goes? That's the wall knot formed around the standing end. Got it? Okay, next step will be to put a crown knot on top of that, going in the same direction. Strands going counterclockwise. Okay, now the wall knot has been formed. It's time to do the crown on top. So I'll start with this black cord here. And I'll take this red cord and go over it. Here's the black cord where I started. Don't want to lose that point. Red over it. Now this black is going to go over that red. And what's going to happen is it's now going to go around the standing end, the same place that the walnut went around the standing end. So all that's left is this red here. I'm going to take this red, go on the other side, the back side of the standing end, and through the black walnut first strand, um, crown knot first strand, I apologize. Alright, so let me try to get a good view here now. I've got the crown. tight on top of the wall and I can tighten secure this up a little bit I need some slack because now I'm going to follow it all through a number of times to form the man rope knot but basically I can point this out to you this strand this strand this strand and that strand right here that is the crown on top of the wall. Okay? Now that's really the basis for the man rope knot. All you have to do to do the man rope knot now is take the working strands that you've just formed the crown with and they're going to follow the wall knot first and then the crown knot and they're going to follow it below. So this red strand that I'm working with now, the working end, is going to follow this strand here, the black one, 
which is from the original wall knot. It's going to fall away underneath. This black one here, this working end, is going to follow this wall knot strand in red, and it's going to follow it underneath. This red strand, which is coming out of and down from the crown, is going to follow underneath this black strand here of the wall. And then finally, this guy here, this black strand, that is coming down from the crown, is going to follow this red strand of the wall. So now that I've explained that, let me go ahead and do it.